G'day viewers, and look, here's an Australian political story I've been looking at and didn't really expect to do a video on because uh, it's a bit sort of wonky on the politics side and I might be a political tragic, but you know, really has to a bit more oomph for me to make a video of and relate to a larger audience. But hey, when a government minister goes down, that becomes news. See, what's been brewing for people who don't know Australian politics, that Federal Health Minister Susan Lay has been in the public eye when it came out that she took a taxpayer funded trip uh, to the Gold Coast and while she was there bought an apartment for more than three quarters of a million dollars. Now most people might look at that and think that kind of seems the point of the trip not actual government business. And she's gone no 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 it was definitely government business that purchase that was just on a whim. I mean, who hasn't been there, right? I mean, I go down to the shop sometimes to get a loaf of bread and accidentally come back with a Bentley. Sometimes you spend three quarters of a million dollars on a whim. And given the shit the government's been getting for their uh, brutal attempt at taking back money from people on unemployment benefits, the very obvious war on the poor they're waging, uh, a government minister saying, oh, I didn't just blatantly use taxpayer money to go on a trip and buy an apartment. No, no, I spent that three quarters of a million dollars on a whim. I call that hashtag relatable. That government they're so in touch with the ordinary people. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? This brewed along for a couple of days and, you know, politics being politics, I didn't necessarily think anything was going to come of it. But uh, Monday, she actually stepped aside for uh, an investigation. Now, it turns out you look at her a little bit more closely and there's probably over $100,000 worth of government travel that she called government travel that's going to be investigated because it looks questionable. Not least two New Year's Eves to party with a famous Queensland millionaire who happens to be a Liberal Party donor who happens to have won tens of millions of dollars in government contract from the LNP government. So, you know, I'm, look, not for a second suggesting that is blatant criminal corruption. No, 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 no. Because I could get in trouble just for pointing out that government ministers partying with a millionaire who donates money to their party and ends up with tens of millions of dollars of government contract just even suggesting that's obvious blatant corruption and criminality if i gave the faintest vaguest scintilla of a hint of a suggestion that they were a bunch of fucking criminals i could be the one in trouble so i'm definitely not saying they're all filthy disgusting corrupt criminals with their piggy snouts in the trough. That's not what I'm saying. The fact that Minister Lay had two separate New Year's Eve parties with this millionaire. Totally government business. Who doesn't do their business in big New Year's Eve bashes? It's completely plausible. She couldn't possibly be found guilty of misconduct and have to resign the ministry and possibly parliament. How could that happen? And plus, she's got fantastic defenders like Bronwyn Bishop. If you're unfamiliar with her, she's a disgraced former minister, had to resign when it turned out she used taxpayer money to hire a helicopter to take her on a flight to a little soiree she wanted to go to. The ridiculous thing is, if she'd used a government car, it not only would have saved an enormous amount of money, probably wouldn't have raised an eyebrow. And it was from Melbourne to Geelong. It probably would have been faster to take the government car rather than go to an airport, get on the helicopter, go, and also more comfortable. Being chauffeur driven is probably more comfortable than going in a bloody helicopter. But it doesn't make you look like a big shot. But it was hilarious. She gave the most bizarre, ranty defense about, oh, you know what? It's creeping socialism. That's literally the only reason this government minister is under scrutiny. Creeping socialism and the noisy people on Twitter. That's where the problem is. Not a government abusing the public trust and using hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars to fund their little trips here, there and everywhere because they have one bullshit meeting and say it's all government business. That's not the problem. 
It's the socialists. And honestly, to have Bronwyn Bishop as your defender for rorting travel expenses when that's what she went down for. I can just imagine Susan Lance saying, No, Bronwyn, not helping. And interestingly, the thing that really probably is going to seal Susan Lay's fate is the conservative Murdoch tabloids are against her. Which is a bit of a surprise if you're used to them just blatantly being publicity pamphlets for the conservatives when they actually go against the conservative minister. Why did they do that? Well, Susan Lay's a Malcolm Turnbull loyalist. And Murdoch and crew don't like Turnbull. They still think Tony Abbott should be Prime Minister. Tony Abbott thinks he should be too. One of his supporters came, oh hey, if the health minister's gone for a little while at least, look, there's a perfectly experienced health minister in the wings. Because Abbott was health minister in a former government. It's just like Malcolm Turnbull's world is crashing around him. It's almost inevitable he's going to lose one of his key supporters from the ministry and he's going to have to replace her with someone who doesn't like him. And look, people say schadenfreude is a bad thing, but when I see these pricks falling apart, eating themselves and going down in flames, I can't get enough of it.